Hello and welcome to another awesome blogging video. Today's video is all about how I create cluster content for my websites using ChatGPT. I absolutely love ChatGPT, but it's really important that you use it in the right way. So I'm going to cover today exactly how I use it to come up with loads of ideas for my niche sites and also how I use those ideas to create a silo cluster of content for those sites. Feel free to hit that like button if it's something you enjoy. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so using ChatGPT to generate a silo. This is an interesting concept. So I originally learned about silos from Carl Broban. And from there, I just explored the subject even more and more. I've done tons of research. And what I found is silos are a very complicated term to understand, especially for someone who is a beginner to blogging. So I'm going to do my best to explain it to you. A silo is effectively a family tree of blogs leading all into one blog. So at the top, you'll have the blogging tips as an example right here. And then under that, you'll have three blogs that effectively lead into this. They're all to do with blogging tips. They're just expanding on the subject a little bit more. And then under each of these three, you'll have another five to six, maybe even up to nine blog posts about that specific niche subject, but in more detail. And the same for this one and the same for this one. And they all interlink between one another, which will effectively push this blogging tips post all the way to the top of Google or, well, higher on the rankings, at least, depending on how you do with your posts. Generally, it's a really good way to push your posts to be seen a lot more on Google. And the best bloggers out there are using this silo strategy to create content. So to do this, I actually try to use chat. GPT. So first is first, I started off by just asking ChatGPT, do you know what a silo is in blogging? And it explains to me what a silo is in blogging. I need your help to create a silo for my website, theoramwell.com. I want the silo to be about the best theme for bloggers using WordPress, the popcorn theme. Then it goes ahead and explains typically how I'll want to organize the silo for the specific niche topic. In this instance, I'm using it for the popcorn theme. I really believe in this product. I think that this is the best theme for bloggers using WordPress. I don't think there's a better theme. I genuinely wholeheartedly believe in this product. I think it's the best. You buy it once and you can use it on as many sites as you like. It's updates for life and it's set up so that you can build your site in literally 10 to 20 minutes maximum. Now, coming from someone who spent days and days trying to build a site with complicated page builders like Elementor and things like this, coming to the popcorn theme and just having my site built in minutes was just a breath of fresh air. So I want to do everything I can to push this uh, forward to other people in the same situation as me. Just getting started and wanting to just get to blogging. Yeah, there's an initial fee, but it's well worth it when you consider the time you're having to spend just to try and find a good theme. So this tells me I need a sort of homepage for this popcorn theme that I want to push forward in terms of blogging. So I will set up a page that is in this instance, describing what I think is the best theme, the popcorn theme, and why I think this is the best popcorn theme. To do this, I'm just gonna take some sticky notes here because I wanna take some, some typical notes here. So, so I've just come up with a title here for this homepage, which is the best blogging theme for WordPress, introducing popcorn theme. That's gonna be my main page that I want to rank on Google and it will provide a general blog as to why I think this is the best theme for bloggers and it just explain everything there. Then I've got a theme overview page. This page can provide an overview of popcorn theme, its features and benefits for bloggers. This page can also link to other pages within the silo. This is quite a important section. It uh, can also link to other pages within the silo. It's really useful because it connects up all of your posts and really pushes uh, Google to understand they're all 
all connected and then it basically incentivizes people to go read other similar posts within your site, keeping them on your site for longer, meaning you're going to make more money. Now, if you want to get the popcorn theme, there is an affiliate link in the description. So feel free to check that out. As I say, this is the best blocking theme on the market. So to continue planning this out, then we would go ahead and we would explain that this is the theme overview. So popcorn theme overview. And that's just a page that I can call this something else, best blogging theme, like that. And that is going to now sit under this main title here. So what I will do is give a dash to symbolize where they are sitting within the silo. So a dash being the top of the silo, two dashes being the next level of the silo. And then we want a popcorn theme installation page. So we would do the same for that. So let's just copy and paste that like so. And let's do another because we're going to have, say, three sections of this. Brilliant. So let's just call that popcorn installation theme. Popcorn theme installation. And then we can have another called the popcorn theme customization. I really like that. That's a, that's a cool one. Customization, best blocking thing. Okay, so now we've got three kind of titles. I like sticking with three just to start you off because, you know, if you're, you're newer to blogging, it can kind of be a lot by just taking loads and loads of titles and making a silo for each one. And then under each of these, what we're going to do is generate five titles. So let's just start with five for blog posts that we want to make that specifically cover niche topics within this title. Great. So as we've got these as our main titles, I'm going to say to ChatGPT, can you suggest five titles for niche topics, for topics to go within my popcorn theme overview, best blogging theme silo? And then it suggests five different titles that I can use to structure out my silo that goes under this section. So let's go ahead and we can just literally copy that if we want to. So now, as you can see, they are now sat underneath that silo. We can do it again. But this time we can do it for this next section. So we can ask the same question and this time do it for the next title. Now, the beauty of this is we can just do it again almost immediately, but just change what we're looking for. This time we're going to go for popcorn theme customization. Paste that in and then quite literally just copy across what you think is worth copying across. In this instance, I'm just going to copy them all because I actually think they're all pretty good. So now you can see that we've got a, a good structure here. We've got the main topic of the silo. We've then got three subtopics of the silo. And then we've got five posts that also sit within those clusters there as well. So now all I would need to do is effectively get every single one of these posts created and written and have them all connect up to one another through interlinking. Now, when I say through interlinking, that would be something along the lines of if I had a popcorn theme overview, say I was writing that, I would say I would cover why popcorn theme is the best choice for bloggers. And I'd cover that in like one or two sentences, maybe a couple paragraphs. And then under that, I would write to explore this topic further, read R, uh, and then you just link the guide in there. And that would be your link for your interlink. And that would very simply just be a slight overview of that little topic. And then to click on that link would then take that reader to the page where it expands on that niche particular subject. And what that eventually does was once you've got enough of these uh, interlinks in all your various posts here, is it, it, it actually connects all these posts to this top one here, creating almost like a family tree of various blog subjects about one subject. And this tells Google that you've put a lot of effort and time into, into fully explaining and offering the most value you can on this particular niche subject. So on a whole, using ChatGPT, you can really plan out a lot of content for all of your sites doing this. Now, it is worth noting that ChatGPT is just a language AI. It's not going to do all the research for you. It's not going to do all the keyword research and everything like that. This isn't a video on how to do keyword research. This is just a video on how I plan out my silos and how I use ChatGPT to help me do that. I really hope this helped you in your blogging journey. Remember to check out the popcorn theme if you really want an awesome looking theme like this. By far, it's the easiest theme to edit and get put on your site regardless of what you've got on your site right now. And there we have it. That was my whole technique and strategy for creating cluster and silo content for my sites. I really hope this video helped you. If it did, hit that like button and click subscribe. Leave us a comment with your thoughts, your opinions in the section below. I try and reply to every comment.
Thanks for watching. This is Theo Ramwell, and I'll see you in the next video.